Hey all, just doing a quick Osmobile update. I haven't done one of those since I started doing the editing videos. So I just want to kind of keep you up to date on where I am with everything and what my plans are and whatnot. As you've seen from the bigger videos, this fender is off because I have stripped all the paint off of it and done the metal work to it. The back side of it still needs to be done so that I can start doing paint work on it. This is just a temporary primer. The um, Olds itself is running okay, but not great. I pretty much think the points just need to be readjusted, but I'm not going to bother because I have a Pertronics electronic ignition module and coil that's going to go in the engine so I don't have to deal with points anymore. And I have a Newport Engineering electric wiper motor that's going to replace the vacuum wiper motor so I don't have to deal with those anymore. However, both of those are up behind the engine here where it's kind of awkward to get to. So when I get to the stage of bodywork where I take the hood off, I'm going to do those at that point because I'm probably also going to clean the firewall up in that area as well. It'll just be easier with the hood not in my way. Um, I ordered my seat belts. It ended up being a little over $800, which was more than I'd hoped and less than I'd feared. They're going to be a green belt in the two belt setup that I was talking about in my second seat belt video. Once those come in, which will probably be the better part of a month or so, at least, we'll be working on installing those because I'm doing body work now, but I'm going to be switching to the interior somewhat soonish because my partner and I have been working on the seats. We've got the lower seat bottom sewn up. I will, in my next edited video, you'll see a shot of that. I may put a shot up here, may not. You'll see if it appears or not. And then we... Once we get that seat together, we're going to start in on the front seat, obviously. And when we pull the front seat out to start tearing it apart, I'm going to pull the carpets and everything out and deal with the floors, cleaning them up, painting them, sound deadening them, so that that's all taken care of. And um, as far as other stuff, this fender, inner fender is going to be coming off soon, so I can do the rust cleanup on that. I'm going to be pulling that fender off, doing the same thing on that side. I wasn't going to do anything with the engine compartment, but now that I'm pulling the inner fenders off and there's no reason not to paint the inside of them. So at that point it becomes the adding stuff to the project problem. If these two panels, the radiator support and the latch support basically are pretty much unbolted by taking the two outer fender wells off, then I'll probably just pull them off to clean them up and repaint them so that everything just looks a little bit nicer in here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I am. Body work is going to go on for a while. Interior work is going to go on for a while. I'm hoping to have the car looking presentable by midsummer, but who knows. Um, but I do want to try and get it to at least a couple shows this year, even if it's not done. I'd rather have an incomplete, imperfect car that I get to enjoy at least some this year than waiting to try and get everything perfect before I show it to the world. So yeah, that's kind of it. Keep plugging away at it, and I'll keep putting up the other videos with more details as I make progress. Thanks for watching. Bye.